Uh, Y'all have to let me know if you can hear me. This is my first time using a different streaming software going live on YouTube. Uh, yeah, hopefully everybody can hear me. Let me know if you can hear me. If you're watching, I'd appreciate it. I'm trying some new stream software with YouTube. I've used it with Twitch plenty of times, but it's my first time using it with YouTube. You can hear me? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, welcome. If you're watching this live, I'm going to do a live reaction to the Sony PlayStation 5 showcase event where they're expected to announce pricing and pre-order details for their new PlayStation 5. Hey, Adrian. Um, if you're watching this in the future, uh, thank you so much for checking it out as a VOD. I really appreciate it. Um, if you want to see me, if you guys like seeing me live, I do a lot of live Twitch streaming over on Twitch at Super Jersh, um, where I actually play games and we chat about a lot of stuff, music, movie, games, whatever. So I thought it would be fun since I do reactions and gaming to do a reaction to gaming live here on YouTube. So, hey, Adrian, uh, hey, Mikado. Um, yeah, so let me know if the video presentation for what I'm watching is too loud. I've got my eye on the audio and I can just bump it down if I need to. I'm going to send out a quick tweet to tell people to join us because it's going to start in a few minutes here. Yeah, it's slated to start in about five minutes. That's why I started my stream about 10 minutes ahead of time so that I could get uh, set up and ready to go. One last little social thing. Okay. Perfect. I knew that Kratos thumbnail would come in uh, handy again someday. I thought this was a normal video. I was about to skip forward. What are you doing skipping my videos? Come on. Yeah, Adrian, I'm super pumped. Uh, actually... This is kind of a spoiler for a future announcement, but you should start to see some horror games on my YouTube channel the closer we get to Halloween, uh, including some Resident Evil games. I'll make a quick predict. Let's see, predictions. I do want to make a quick prediction. Uh, I predict that the... That the digital version of the PlayStation 5 is going to be $399. I think the base version with the disc drive is going to be $499. And I think they're going to announce pre-orders starting today. I think they're going to wow everybody saying you can pre-order today right now. Those are a few predictions that I think will be fun to see if they come to fruition. Yeah, it's a couple of minutes away. I'm pretty excited. To be honest, uh, I'm probably going to go with Xbox first, just because that's where I do my main gaming. But I will eventually own a PS5, so I'm curious uh, kind of what their strategy is and how they compare and contrast to Microsoft. Nintendo's not even in the conversation because they're off in Switch land doing their own thing, you know? But... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, Resident Evil 8. Me like either Resident Evil games.
Y'all have to let me know when the show starts if the uh, PlayStation stream or video is too loud. From what I can tell, it's balanced okay, and you all can hear me okay, but just let me know if that changes. The video might get a lot louder if they play game trailers or something. Well, Bean, I think they did. They did that with the Vita, and the Vita kind of flopped, so I don't think Sony's going to get back into the handheld business maybe ever. Dang, yeah. Hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, I normally, I was in the middle of recording more reactions when uh, this started. I scheduled it ahead of time because I knew that it was happening. Um, I don't know how many of you are here for the gaming content or the reactions. I still record the same amount of reactions as I used to. The problem is all the copyright blocks lately. A lot of them over on Patreon. Um, but yeah, I'm always trying to think about... <clears throat> oh man, it's loud on my end. Hopefully it's okay in your ears then. I'm always trying to think about the best way to have fun, do things that I enjoy, and entertain anybody that stumbles across my channel, so... This should be really interesting. I will, so I've said, for those of you that just joined late because it's getting ready to start, I predict that the digital version of the PlayStation 5 will be $399, the standard version with the disc drive will be $499, and they will announce that pre-orders begin today. Those are my three predictions. Um, but I would genuinely be surprised and happy if they undercut Microsoft's price. I don't see them getting the $299 in either of these. The reason Microsoft got the $299 is because it's not as powerful as uh the series x and um as far as i know the two models that playstation is offering are the same specs it's just that one has a disc drive and one doesn't so maybe a hundred dollar price point difference might be a, a stretch but i feel like if it's i feel like if it's only a fifty dollar difference that's not going to be enough it's like why do that price difference you would never sell the discless one for anybody interested because, hey, you know, for 50 bucks more, I can get that disc drive and play physical media still and have a Blu-ray, a 4K Blu-ray player or whatever, you know? So I feel like it's going to be a $399 and a $499. Can you just imagine if they just said, if they said $299 for the discless or if they were both two ninety nine, if it was two forty nine for the discless and two ninety nine for the base, and they undercut the lower version of Microsoft, oh, I don't think they, I don't think they could afford that as a company. But that would still be pretty cool, pretty mind blowing. Um, oh, here we go. Ah, the router. They do have, I mean, they have single player narrative on lockdown. I don't, nothing on Xbox interests me from a single player narrative perspective. Hitman VR. That would be intense. Resident Evil 8! That, you already... Come on. Really? Does the console release this year? Are they still making it?
creative business unit. It's like the most corporate creative name you could come up with. That sounds like Final Fantasy music. And that looks like a chocobo. Yeah, this is a Final Fantasy game. That's a surprise. Hmm. Uh, yes, Lily J, there is supposed to be sound. I show sound on my end and I hear it on my end. Can nobody else hear the video I'm watching? I have, I'm showing it, I can hear it, and I'm showing sound streaming in the stream, so. You guys can't hear the video? That doesn't make any sense. What is this? I know why. There you go. Sorry about that, I fixed it. Let me know if the video is too loud. <laughs> Gosh darn it. I appreciate you telling me. I'll kill you. Hopefully, thankfully we're not very far into this. It's the last thing I do. Yeah. Straight up 16. Wow. What? Huh. How did they pull that off? Okay, that's fair. Maybe Final Fantasy is so early in development that they don't have anything running on the system. So I'm glad that we're actually going to see PS5 footage. It's too cold to change out here. Spider-Man. Dang, I'm late for Mom's rally. card check you got the house key yeah i got it i liked marvel spider-man quite a bit i didn't finish it i thought it, i thought the combat kind of got a little bit repetitive and the story kind of hit a slag where it didn't keep me going but i'm still super excited for this i think it's going to be a great game are you still wearing your suit yeah you know just in case it's going to be fine Hmm. See, this is my favorite part of living in there Hollywood. goes the neighborhood the street fair best food in the city awesome music Man, this would be great for the last beat I was working on I get back it's probably a lot of it is probably the stream and a lot of it is 
It's also contributed to how powerful our current gen consoles are, but I really don't see a significant graphical difference uh, in the new consoles. This looks like a PlayStation 4 game in my opinion. But there might be some other improvements that they can't show off visually as far as AI, load times, things like that, you know? Hi, I'm Brian Horton, creative director at Insomniac Games. I thought we were going to get a gameplay demo. I'm excited to show you this first look at gameplay from Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. Our story picks up one year after the events of the first game, and we find Miles' new home, Harlem, is in danger. Trouble brews while Miles' mom, Rio Morales, leads an election rally. A war between the devious energy corporation, Roxxon, and the underground. A high-tech criminal army led by the Tinkerer starts to break out. In this gameplay sequence, captured on PlayStation 5 hardware, the underground attacks Roxxon, sending the rally into chaos in a fight that spills onto the Braithwaite Bridge. Anybody in here hyped for a new Final Fantasy or this Spider-Man game? Energy source, new form. Let's take a look. And if not, what are you hyped for for PlayStation 5? Let's not shoot each other, all right? Hmm. We're after the new form. Ignore everything else. Gotta be a suit power, right? Getting a little chunky on the stream. Hmm. Combat looks very uh, evocative or, or uh, of the first one. Whoa, that's cool. That's a cool ability. That's new, I think. Hmm. Hi, kitty. Welcome to the stream. You excited about anything PlayStation 5 or just stopping in to say hi because I'm live? What's going on? cool Thank you, man. hey look at that lives mattering more than property all right that's cool what Yeah, mash square, buddy. Hmm. 
Run, you sons of bitches, this is really tiring. Oh no. Hmm. It is kind of impressive how it goes to real time combat to quick time to cutscene in between without so much as a stutter. Hey, eat your cereal. Hi, welcome to the stream. Kitty, you are excited about the PS5? Cool. Any particular games or features? Be yourself. Okay, but if everybody's buying a PlayStation 5, am I really being myself by owning a PlayStation? Or am I being, you know, just another one in the crowd? It would be cool to see some more Resident Evil 8 today. I thought so, Lucas. It's a Harry Potter game. Magic, both beautiful and powerful, binds together our long history. That common bond we share is the legacy of Hogwarts. Hmm. What could this be? Now it is time to add your own story to these hallowed halls. Yeah, Kitty, I will say, Sony did get um, a little more creative with their design of their console. It's a little weird looking, but it's eye catching. Let me know if the video audio is okay on the Sony stream. Now that it's here, now that I fixed it. What is this then? So it's a prequel game? you will meet lifelong friends and grow into your own magical abilities in the classrooms of the world's most talented Like an MMO? And while your journey begins at Hogwarts, brewing potions, I assume every preview is for the interview and take and otherwise. <laughs> Zalbinian in the house? A uh, Zalbinian, I just recorded one of your reaction requests earlier today. You can't yet imagine. An ancient knowledge long gone from this world. Strange and mysterious talent you possess may be the key to unlocking this dormant power. Your potential is limitless. But what yeah, Lily, I know exactly what you mean. The journey ahead will reveal what you stand for. The choices you make now, dude, will define the legacy. That music sounded a lot like the Avengers main theme. Hogwarts Legacy. I feel like this is an MMO. I feel like everyone gets to be their own wizard in an MMO, like War, like World of Warcraft, maybe. World of Spellcraft. World of Witchcraft. Hi everyone, I'm Dan Vondrak, Creative Director at Raven. One of our goals as developers is to bring the game world to life unlike anything you've ever experienced. And make and Call the of Duty PlayStation maps. 5 is making that happen. <laughs> With the power of the new console, we've been able to significantly enhance the overall experience. From what you see in the world, how it feels in your hands, to what you hear around you. In Black Ops Cold War, you will be transported to the year 1981. Oh my god, this is Call of Duty. The dangerous times the world has ever known. The height of the Cold War. The following is a portion of the first campaign <laughs> oh mission god. where you've been given the name of a high value For target real. linked to the Iran hostage crisis. Ugh. But in true Black Ops style, nothing is as it seems. We were late to the party because we couldn't see things as they happened. I have not seen anything for Call of Duty. Team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. 
They should be in position shortly. But I mean, I have not cared about the story in Call of Duty for years. In Soviet Call of Duty, game plays you. <laughs> Mason, give me the damn numbers. Priority is to ID a rock. Yeah, none of this matters to me. I don't care about single player Call of Duty anymore. It's been bad for a few years now, so I probably won't play this one either. But if they keep Warzone around and keep updating it and get rid of the freaking lag and the cheaters, then uh, that can be a great time this fall. Mason, check it out. I said it before and I'll say it again. Graphically, this could be a PlayStation 4 game. I, I don't think they're making huge strides visually in the next console generation at this point. I think it's mostly on the tech side. AI, loading, weather events, things like that. I mean, this looks like it could be on PS4 in my opinion. Could also be the stream though. He looks like freaking Andy Kaufman as uh, Tony Clifton. He missed. Meat shield. All I'm thinking about is what which of these mechanics are going to be in Warzone. <laughs> I'm barely even interested in the regular multiplayer anymore. I'm like 99% only interested in Warzone. I only play multiplayer to get attachments for my guns faster <laughs> that I can use in Warzone. This guy's an asshole. He misses a snipe shot. He uses a, a meat shield. And then he sends him packed with a grenade. This is the ending of Toy Story. Spoilers for Toy Story. Come on, RC! Hurry! your job and securities on the world, but yeah. Robert Redford? Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War, PlayStation, Holiday, 2020. We hope you enjoyed that sneak peek at the campaign for Black Ops Cold War. There are many more twists and turns along the way as you begin to it looks unravel fine. the truth, and we can't wait I don't, for you to play I it I personally soon. am not in addition to the story invested campaign, in that. Cold War features the next generation of but if you're somebody that likes the first-person gameplay mechanics and the awesome impressive graphics experience. of Call of Duty, Today, but a special honor to announce on behalf uh, of my friends you're not able to get a fast enough internet, the PlayStation community doesn't have to wait to play multiplayer. Starting this Friday, PlayStation players will be able to play the multiplayer alpha exclusively on PlayStation 4. Mm. And for those of you that are watching at home on your PS4, you can preload the experience starting tomorrow. And you're going to need to, because it's going to be 100,000 gigs Enjoy the rest plus of the a patch. Come on, Resident Evil 8.
First person. All clear. Long move. This looks Chris? like this is this is Resident Evil Eight. Yes. Take him away. This is Resident Evil Eight. <laughs> yes. I am so fucking excited for this game. I didn't realize how much I liked the Resident Evil series until I started replaying them on Twitch this last year. I'm really attached to this series. They're coming again! <laughs> Mia. What? Quit being so paranoid. What? Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch, and into the forest deep. Man, so excited. It's just a local tale. God damn it. I can't believe they're bringing back that character. Both of these characters. Yeah, Rob, that's kind of my thinking. Resident Evil Tim Burton edition. If it's just looking, window shop away. A new shopkeeper! <laughs> what are you boying? Visionary is a different piece. Hmm. Here's Eagle. I, I feel respected scientist. I've done so many loops, I've learned to run circles around him. I feel like the time loop genre as a storytelling device kind of started in video games. Because you're doing the same thing over and over, gaining more knowledge to progress. So it's kind of weird to see video games think that they're taking from movies which was actually taken from games. So I wonder how this will be any different. I wonder how this will be different than other video games that rely on you replaying scenarios over and over to gain more knowledge and get better, you know? I've tried taking my targets out one by one more than I can remember, but there is- Yeah, Zalbinian, that's true. I go after one- In fairness, Resident Evil is not right guns, now, guns, guns, guns. an island away, a different visionary is throwing his- And Final Fantasy 16 was swords. Alexis Dorsey. The wolf. Everybody shut up! This is my jam. Igor is a big fan, yet somehow he never makes it to the party. Something keeps him home. Cold? You there, buddy? Here's the invite to the party. And here's why Igor blew it off. He made some kind of scientific breakthrough that morning. I did it! I did it! It works! That he makes every morning. Unless I get there first. No experiment, no breakthrough, no reason for Igor not to drink his disappointment with Alexis. Hmm. This game has a lot of style, killing them both at the but I'm, I don't know, I'm curious about the narrative. In the same loop.
targets on my list. Every one of them with grand plans for eternal life. To break the loop, I gotta break the rules. Clock's ticking. Man. And you just ran out of time. You keep forgetting, Colt. I'm not like those other idiots. Only got one name on my list. Yours. Very, very interesting game. It's got a awesome art style and aesthetic. It, it definitely feels like what? That's now a PlayStation exclusive? Wow. No problems, Albinion. I'll leave it up on video on demand too if you want to watch it later. It does have a kind of a Bioshock vibe, that art house decor. It's the animal masks that made me that make you think of Bioshock, I think. I was not expecting so much game footage. I thought this was going to be a 30 minute presser about here's how much our consoles cost. So this is cool. Hmm. That day, if our positions were switched, would our fates be different? Devil May Cry? Would I have your life and your mind? You a demon? Yeah. I've never been huge on the Devil May Cry fan or games. I've never been a huge fan of them. I feel like they were of a time, late '90s, early 2000s. Um, the graphics are gorgeous, even on the current console versions. But I don't know. Maybe it's the same reason that I've never really gotten serious into fighting games, is I'm not a big huge fan of button combos at super fast speeds. Rest in peace. Little chunky. I mean, the graphics look gorgeous, but it again, it looks like what I've seen of the current version of the game on current consoles. Devil may cry. Oh wow. I mean, it should be. The game's already. It's like they're already doing remasters on PS5. <laughs> hmm. Oh, the new Oddworld game. We saw a trailer for this a while ago. Was it an E3 or a Microsoft conference? I don't remember. Fugitive morons burned down their own hideout? It sounds idiotic, but that's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> Bad Guama for burning down my farm. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lorne Lanning, creative director of Oddworld Soulstorm. And we're excited to bring you an all new exclusive trailer from the game. Here, our unlikely hero, Abe. Finds himself fresh off the bat, guy is such freeing his people an from the nefarious rupture way of speaking. He thinks the journey is over, but soon discovers it has only just begun. Hey. The stakes are higher, the threats I'm are I'm here to larger, bring you Oddworld. The obstacles are also, more to give you a hot dog if you might want one. By the power of PlayStation Maybe your beer zero you calories. Know. You're watching your weight, but you want something good tasting? That's that guy. A whole lot bigger. Jesus. We are not letting that ape guy get away from us again. Was 
Just a general con concept of this game. I think I, I've only played one of the games maybe once. He's like a factory worker trying to escape or something. His miserable factory that. job or something. Minions vibes. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. I've never played that game. Is that a sequel or a DLC or a remastered version? What the hell is that game about? Demon Souls. Oh, really, Lucas? That's interesting. I'm excited for this. I never finished the original Demon Souls. I've never beaten a single Souls game at all. I get a couple hours in and I hit a wall. I might have to stream them at some point and actually beat through some of these games. good and graphically it looks great there's like no hud They're gonna lose their mind over this game. Hmm. Oh, really, Lucas? Yeah, I'll definitely be reacting to that. Oh, they're going to show us a boss fight? Chop. Looks good, it sounds good. 
I did wish that on this generation we were going to stop seeing some of that clipping stuff. Like swords doing a stab animation and then just going through a body. I don't know. Man, it looks good though. Okay, I remember that boss fight. I think this is the very first one. Like super soon in the game. Yeah, you did. I remember that one too. <clears throat> The music's back, too. That's from the original. Man. I'm curious, like, uh, obviously... It seems pretty faithful to the original as far as, like, enemy patterns and locations and stuff. I wonder if they will offer they will offer like an alternate version so that you can get a new gameplay experience. Because if you're already obsessed over Demon Souls and played through over and over and have the patterns memorized, then you're basically playing the same game. But if they change the enemy patterns and mess with the difficulty, it could feel like a whole new game. That sounds like Fortnite, and I know that now because I play Fortnite now. I wouldn't have known that sound two weeks ago. <laughs> Yeah, no shit. That had to be said? I mean, I guess in the today's times with Apple trying to block everybody from doing anything at Apple so that nobody wants Apple. I don't know. The PlayStation Plus Collection. <clears throat> A new PlayStation Plus benefit for PlayStation 5. Can you kill something that big? I need to play that game. I own that game. I bought it on sale a long time ago. That's a great Connor. game. My name is Connor. I already played through it though. There's actually there's a playthrough of Detroit Become Human on my channel. On YouTube. These are like all Sony exclusives. Are they gonna do is the PlayStation Plus collection Sony's answer to Game Pass? After all we've been through. The first Last of Us is great, but Last of Us Part 2 is, is terrible in my opinion. I quit playing it. It's time. It's not exclusives, it just includes some exclusives. That fucking game. God of War, man. Generation defining PS4 games. The entire collection of, on your PS5. Well, unfortunately for them, I owned a PS4 to play those games, so I've already played them all. <laughs> but I can see that being super enticing if you skipped over PS4 where you were on the fence about uh, PS5 offering games like Game Pass. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I have to chew on that. Kind of curious who that is for. 
Is it Rob? I, I own it. I'm I'm thinking about playing through it in October around Halloween time. I said my pricing predictions at the top of the stream, but if you weren't here, I guessed $399 for digital, $499 for that version with the disc, and that they would be available for pre-order today. I thought that would be, those were my three predictions before the stream started. But I would be pleasantly surprised if they undercut Xbox's price. I don't think they're going to. But... Show the price. I nailed it! Two days after Xbox. Three orders when? So now you know. Thank you all for joining us today and for being part of this amazing journey. When can we pre-order? It's your passion as fans of gaming that drives us to deliver a truly new generation of experiences on PS5. From everyone at PlayStation, we appreciate your continued support, and we look forward to you getting your hands on PS5 very soon. To close, let me leave you with one more quick look. When can we pre-order, though? Yeah, Rob, that was my thought. This can't be God of War. The time draws near. I have goosebumps. That spells Ragnarok. You must prepare yourself. Oh. <laughs> I can't stress enough how special I think God of War is. I'm like getting emotional just thinking about it. I think God of War is one of the best entertainment experiences of my lifetime. That's how powerful that game is, that just a logo and a line of dialogue is just like, ugh. I think just white, Rob. a really fast turnaround between God of War games. Three years. Hmm. I'll say... I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Alright, turn that down a little bit. I mean, I'll say overall, this this was pretty impressive. Tons of games, a couple ex ex exclusive announcements that really surprised me. Some second looks at some really exciting prior announcements, like Spider-Man Miles Morales and uh, Resident Evil 8. Um, I So for those of you that don't know, I actually have a podcast called The Super Jer Show. Right now, it's only available on Patreon, but it's going to be available for free in the public very soon. Um... That was it. That's it. I want to rewatch the God of War teaser because I lost my fucking mind. Where's the guy?
Can't confirm or deny based on spoilers, Rob. I'm gonna turn it back up. God damn. That looks like the world serpent. I guarantee you that's actual Norse that the internet is gonna figure out and translate. I feel like it's just Ragnarok. Jesus Christ. So yeah, for those of you that don't know, I have a podcast called The Super Jerk Show where I talk about music, TV, uh, movies, games, and uh, I'll definitely be talking about this in more in depth. Um, Jesus Christ. I'll leave it paused there. Um, yeah, I'll talk about my thoughts overall. I, I successfully predicted the pricing the, for both of them. The only thing that I didn't predict is, um, they didn't say when you can pre-order. So this was really fun. Uh, I'm trying to do, again, more reaction stuff and gaming stuff. I'm trying to do as much as I can. My son's back in school for the pandemic. I'm homeschooling him. So appreciate your all's patience as the schedule kind of fluctuates a little bit. Uh, if you joined me live, thanks for watching live. Comment in this VOD and let me know what you liked the most. What were some surprises, some disappointments? And uh, also, if you're watching this in the future on VOD, uh, comment the same. As a reminder, Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm at SuperJersh if you want to follow me there. No, I didn't see any Mortal Kombat 11 news. Um, but I'm going to leave this stream up in an archive if you want to watch my reactions again. Um, and I'm going to talk about this more in depth on the Super Jerk Show, which is my podcast, which is available on Patreon early. And in the next couple of weeks, it'll start to be available for free. And I'll share that information uh, once it's available. So thanks for joining me, everybody.